Does it make sense to be using Chime Bank in 2024? In this review video, I'll go through the pros and cons of Chime Bank, but I'll be honest with you, there are more cons than pros when comparing Chime to other top banks like SoFi. Chime has three products, a checking account, a savings account, and their credit builder card. Let's start out with what I like about Chime, their welcome bonus. If you sign up for Chime through someone's referral link, mine is down below, you can earn $100 after setting up direct deposit and receiving a qualifying direct deposit of $200 or more within 45 days of signing up. The mobile and web apps are both amazing. They are well designed and easy to use regardless of the device you're using. You can review recent transactions, transfer money, make a payment, find a nearby ATM, and more. What I like about the checking account, you can deposit cash without paying a fee. With Chime, you can go to Walgreens and deposit up to $500 per day into your Chime account. Most online banks don't allow you to deposit cash or with a bank like SoFi, you're charged a fee of $4.95 to deposit cash into your account. You can withdraw money from over 60,000 fee-free ATMs. You have access to over 55,000 all-point ATMs plus ATMs at Target, CVS, Circle K, 7-Eleven, and Walgreens. You can get paid up to two days early with direct deposit. There are no overdraft fees. If you don't have direct deposit set up, Chime will decline transactions that would overdraft your account. If you do have direct deposit, you you can overdraft your account from $20 to up to $200 and you won't be charged any fees or interest. Just add money to your account to bring your balance from negative to positive. The Credit Builder card is a great option if you're building or rebuilding your credit. You qualify for the card if you're receiving a direct deposit of $200 or more into your Chime checking account. The steps for using the card, move money from your checking account to the Credit Builder secured account. The amount that you have in this account is the amount that you can spend on your card. Use your Credit Builder card and make on-time payments to build your credit. Now let's Let's move on to the cons. Starting with the Credit Builder card, it doesn't offer any cash back, points, miles, or have any other benefits. If you want to see my favorite beginner credit cards, check out the video in the description below. Now let's talk about what I don't like about the checking account. No interest. Chime doesn't pay any interest on your checking account balance. With Capital One or Ally Bank, you could earn 0.1% APY on your checking account balance. And with SoFi, my main bank account since 2019, you can earn a half a percent interest on your checking account balance. I normally have a few thousand dollars in my checking account to pay rent, credit card bills, etc. It's free money. I don't see why you'd want to leave money in a checking account that isn't paying any interest. $500 maximum daily deposit of cash. If you're someone who earns tips, or receives a larger amount of cash, $500 may not be enough and you could have to make multiple visits to Walgreens. With Capital One 360, you can deposit $999 per day and make up to five deposits per month. If you need to deposit more, look to open a bank account with physical branches near you. You may have noticed I haven't talked about their savings account until now. When I first started creating videos for this channel in 2021, high yield savings accounts were all paying around a half a percent. Chime was up there with the best accounts, but over the last two years, interest on the best savings accounts have increased from a half a percent to over 5%. Chime hasn't increased the interest rate on their savings account in about a year. The APY on Chime savings account is currently just 2%. Most other high yield savings accounts are paying over double the amount of interest. Also, the savings account doesn't allow you to save for individual goals like you can see here with the vaults at SoFi. I've been saving $50 per month to have $600 to purchase holiday gifts. For me, it's great to be able to save for a down payment on a home, a vacation, a car, or anything else in separate sub accounts with a recurring deposit set up to make sure I'm making progress on all of my financial goals. Most online banks, including Chime, don't charge any fees and have no minimum balance requirement. If you want to sign up for Chime, set up direct deposit and earn the $100 bonus and then decide there's a better bank for you, you can easily have your direct deposit sent to another bank and maybe leave your Chime account open just in case you need it to deposit cash. Deposit cash into your Chime account and then transfer the money to your main bank account, the one that pays you higher interest on both your checking and savings account balances. If you want to see how Chime compares to SoFi, my favorite overall bank in 2024, watch the video up above. Or if you want to see the best high yield savings accounts right now, check out the video below. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.